What's up everybody? This is this is mind blowing. This is awesome. This is insane. <laughs> From the time Saturn has transited to the nakshatra of Mula which deals with our deepest insecurities, deepest roots, our core. I am seeing so many people calling me and telling my god, I want to do something spiritual. <laughs> This has happened after 26th of October when Saturn has finally made the most awaited long time transit after three freaking years, after dwelling, dwindling, <laughs> after tormenting itself and ourselves also <laughs> in the sign of Scorpio. My God, what a freaking three year transit. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the like button after watching it till the end and see my other transit videos on Jupiter, Saturn and recently I also made another video which became uh, which was liked by people I said about Saturn's transit in Mula that in that video recently if you have not watched it then please go and watch and if you want to book a personal consultation with me then the link to my new website Vedic Renaissance is there below in the description then you can go and check out the different options and then you can follow the instructions accordingly and well this video is again about Saturn's transit into the Mula Nakshatra well as I said in the earlier video that Mula Nakshatra represents the galactic center of the universe as per astronomy that is the zone where the higher dimensional frequencies are getting exchanged that is why if some people have prominent planets in Mula they behave as if they are in that zone that is why I said one thing in the video that if somebody has prominent planets in the nakshatra of Mula especially Sun Moon or Lord of the Ascendant if I'm not wrong the Bollywood actress Katrina Kaif she is a Sagittarius Ascendant and her Jupiter is in the first house in the Mula, in Mula Nakshatra if I am not wrong. I have to confirm that. But this is what I have heard. And from the time Saturn has moved to Mula which deals with the energies of the galactic center. I found so many people who have called me and said. In fact recently yesterday I met one of my friends from Delhi. He was telling me that he is uh, planning to solidify his uh, spiritual practices because somehow Saturn happens to be a very important planet in his horoscope if you understand some astrology will know what I am saying <laughs> what it means when Saturn is an important planet in somebody's horoscope let me see if you can write it in the comments what is the meaning of that <laughs> so for this person Saturn is somehow a very important planet important planet <laughs> so for him uh, now since it has moved that so called important planet has moved to Mula that is why what has happened is he is now too much focused on uh, spiritually improving his life well he he is that kind of a person always but what was happening is from these years he was having lot of ideas he was having lot of conceptions of maybe this path is like this maybe this path is like that but now finally he decided that that's it I'm going to follow something and now he uh, is going to start some new Chinese meditation some I, I, I don't know much about that meditation it is some raising the energy raising the vibration raising the frequency it's something related to that but anyways whatever it is either it's Indian Chinese American whatever it is it is something which has to do with the divine source that is very important I'm not talking of what meditation it is or whatever but at least the person told me I was very impressed when I heard this. He told me that that meditation demands 40 minutes in the morning and 40 minutes in the evening. So how much time it is? 80 minutes. My God. So 80 minutes he will be reinvesting regularly now in that meditation. Can you imagine? That's a very big thing. That is very big. Giving 80 minutes in a day is a big thing. Actually, it's not big, but it's still a big thing. So he told me, what do you think about all this? I said, mind blowing, beautiful, amazing. Go forward. Why 80 do for 160? 
for three four hours you are only meditating my god you're doing some kind of energy raising raising the frequency raising the vibrancy so all this he's doing so i said because of this there will be two things which will happen what are those two things i said first what will happen is you will get results of that meditation whatever is prescribed and whatever is promised by that meditation or that spiritual practice whatever you call it there are lots of other things changing diet this that that is the first thing that will happen but millions of times more important than that something else will happen and this is huge what will happen when you are giving 80 minutes in a day that means what you have to now plan your life accordingly you have no time to watch gossip you have no time to watch shows on politics unnecessary political debate i am not including healthy political videos here what is going on in the world in usa in america in india germany russia i am not including that but some useless political sensual debates sensual <laughs> which has nothing to do with actually what's going on with actually the people just you don't have anything that is why you are doing all these debates or anything related to movies anything which sucks your energy anything which drains you anything that wastes your time so now what has happened is 80 minutes he will invest there that means his waste time will reduce and because of that his mind will be more calm he will be he will be more productive during the day he will be more forceful instead of wasting time seeing movies where he will not gain anything ultimately out of it yes or watching some other waste stuff in the internet or maybe wasting time uh, seeing some videos in youtube <laughs> there are so many videos my god hey, anyways whatever it is whichever uh, whichever domain sucks our time that will not yield any fruit ultimately i am not talking of spirituality here <laughs> i am talking even on the mundane realm there are so many things in this world which we do which deep down inside we also know that there is no result of doing all this but what to do you are so much bored and you are so much frustrated then you have to fill the vacuum then you do all those activities right seeing reality shows seeing this show seeing that show that is why you go to somebody's facebook profile you will see links okay what happened today in this show what happened today in that show na everybody is having it's like the radar everybody is like mm, mm, everybody is hovering around that as is said in the bhagavatam mano rathe na sati dhavato bahi <laughs> this is one of my favorite shokas your the mind is hovering today from this actor to that actor from this politician to that politician from this girl to that boy from this cricketer to that footballer from this hotel resort to that hotel resort so when all this nonsense is going on then you you are you are basically headless you don't know where to go in life you have no inquisitiveness about god and then suddenly one day something happens oh divorce break up you commit suicide <laughs> that means there's nothing on the surface everything is on the air but now because saturn has moved into mula nakshatra so so many people i have been seeing that they are like now we will do only that which helps us to form our roots so whichever house is saturn is ruling and whichever house saturn is transiting take a note of those houses <laughs> for example if you are a libra ascendant then saturn is ruling your fourth house and fifth house and it is transiting in your third house that means now the traits of the fourth house and the fifth house will undergo the traits of mula nakshatra through the experiences of the third house that means if you are planning to buy some property or you are planning to do something creative newly then this is the best time because three five houses are getting active and now you will not only be like okay maybe i will do this i will do that no you will sit down and you will figure out what i want to do and you will actually do it because saturn is the planet of duty it doesn't it is not jupiter who only keeps speaking 
सैटन सेज एक्ट जुपिटर सेज वी विल एक्ट लेटर फर्स्ट यू अंडारस्टैंड व्हाट इट इज बोथ आर इम्पोर्टेंट सो दिस इज परहैप्स द मोस्ट माइंड ब्लोइंग टाइम टू स्टार्ट स्पिरिचुअल एक्टिविटीज एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू 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 जस्ट स्टार्ट थिंग्स विल हैपन ऑटोमेटिकली स्पेशली इफ यू आर अ कैप्रिकॉन और अक्वेरियस एसेंडेंट माइंड ब्लोइंग टाइम दिस इज बिकॉज देन सैटन बिकम्स योर लग्ना लॉर्ड इट इज ट्रांजिटिंग इन द मूला नक्षत्र which comes in sagittarius which is the sign of spirituality so lagna lord means the entire focus of your life is going there do you understand what i am telling <laughs> for example if you are a capricorn ascendant saturn your lagnesh is transiting in the 12th house 12th house is the house of spirituality <laughs> if you are a aquarius ascendant saturn is transiting in your 11th house go and join some spiritual organization that's the best thing you can do right now Aquarius you are the most luckiest people i am telling you my god aquarius jupiter is also transiting your 9th house <laughs> and saturn is transiting in the 11th house of network circles other people go and meet spiritual people and when you go and try to meet people you will also get because jupiter is aspecting the lagna whenever jupiter aspects the lagna to find spiritual things on the physical realm become very easy that means if jupiter is in the first fifth seventh or ninth then it will aspect the lagna by any means if it's in the lagna it will sit in the lagna that means spiritual guidance will come to you effortlessly so aquarius please do not miss this you will never get this in your life jupiter may come to your ninth house or first house fifth house seventh house but saturn will not be there in the 11th house to go and join some spiritual organization make friends who are spiritually elevated instead of just doing gossip about politics or movies or who is having an affair in the company right <laughs> or who got a promotion to go to on site to go to london or to go to las vegas las vegas <laughs> you get lost when you go to las vegas <laughs> all right so instead of doing all this it's the great it's perhaps the best time which you can get aquarius ascendants and even capricorn also sort out all the psychological issues 12th house all the baggage chuck it off clear it throw it out just rip everything apart whatever lagnesh means overall life whatever is not working throw it do not waste these 9 months when saturn is in mula please do not for god sake for your sake at least <laughs> you don't care about god i also don't care that's fine at least for our sake we should not waste time all right and the results are phenomenal and those people who have been grounded who are already in the that frequency of spirituality which mula nakshatra wants to teach them i am seeing their life is flourishing like anything <laughs> because now they are finding something very substantial there now they are able to do things very easily because now saturn is transited so now they will themselves feel but those people who are not grounded who are in the superficial realm hovering in the surface doing nonsense in their life drinking alcohol or whatever wasting their bodily vitality in frivolous reasons oh my god they are going to have time of their life <laughs> if you see anybody who is hovering in the surface who does not have any conception of higher reality what mula nakshatra is just if you see them you meet them and tell them get well soon <laughs> even you don't have to tell they will come and tell you that please hug me and tell me get well soon all right that is it i wanted to say once again i made this video on saturn transit into mula best time for spiritual pursuits best time sign of sagittarius nakshatra lord is ketu and the planet of structure saturn what else you need man <laughs> it is better to have saturn in mula than to have jupiter in mula because if you have jupiter in mula you will only think you will not do anything but now saturn is like no now we will do also all right that is it from my side wish you good luck once again with the transit of saturn in Mula Nakshatra I hope everybody uses this and 
before ending i must say god is there with you all the time and he he is especially going to be there when till when saturn stays in the nakshatra of mula all right wish you good luck with saturn's transit in mula now it is up to you you make it good or you make it worse the onus is on you it is like that now uh, what you say the churi in hindi you say it's like that rod which you have the sword either you can cut it this side or you cut it that side and if you start cutting nothing will be left you will become a different person after saturn leaves mula nakshatra and it goes to purva shada all right that is it from my side wish you good luck see you after saturn crosses over mula and goes to purva shada the next video will be on purva shada all right bye bye